I-State holiday tradition is back in downtown Cincinnati this weekend. The annual Boar's Head and Yule Log Festival at Christ Church Cathedral starts on Saturday, and Bob Byring and Ann Yaroshevitz are here with a preview. Welcome, both of you. Outgoing chair chairman, incoming chairwoman. So first, Bob, why don't you fill us in on what is the festival all about? Well, first of all, thank you very sure. much, Sheila, for inviting us. The Boar's Head is actually the oldest continuing festival of the Christmas season, and its roots go back to 1340 in wow. Oxford, England. So it's been continually done at Oxford College, and in 1940, we brought it to Cincinnati, so we are the first to put it into a church setting. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, you know, it's hard to describe what it is because here we see the boar being carried in on a trencher, and the boar in the old medieval days was the symbol of evil. So when it's carried in on a trencher like this, this is basically the symbolism of conquered evil, Christ's victory over evil. And so that's what this whole pageant is all a symbolism for the Christian. And uh, so people season. who go to the, you have several performances on New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, and people who go will see a cast of, and a couple of hundred people put this yes. on, right? Yes, over 200 people on, uh, in the cast, and then we have about probably 200 more people behind the scenes doing, feeding the cast, um, musicians, uh, uh, singers, so we have about 400 people involved. I know that um, every year, it, most of your performances sell out, even though it's free, right? It's, it's free. It's free, yeah. but I mean, yeah, you yeah. pack the cathedral. Why do you think it's so popular? Well, you know, I think because it, I walk out of there every year feeling the way I want to feel about Christmas, which is goodwill towards men. Mm -hmm. And so I think people come back year in and year out because it's this experience that you just can't replicate anywhere else. And this feeling you get mm -hmm. after it, with the music is transcendent and the costuming, the, the pageantry is, is beautiful. So it's just a one of a kind kind of thing. So I think it's word of mouth. People say, hey, you gotta see this. Mm -hmm and uh, other people say we, we come every year. The spectacle so. of it. Now, Bob, you've been the chairman for about 38 years. 38 years, You're leaving right. your post. Why have you stayed involved that long? Well, it, it's right now it's part of my DNA, unfortunately. Yeah. I, I, I don't mean unfortunately, but I, it's uh, something that's been a part of our family tradition. Mm -hmm. My kids have been in it, now my grandkids are in it, so it's just a part of our Christmas season. And, uh, but the one thing I really want to tell people is that um, uh, even though the tickets have all been distributed, um, when they're free, we unfortunately experience about a 20% no-show. Okay, so, so you might be able to show yeah. up and, and get a seat. We tell people, come on down okay. to the performance of their choice, and um, we'll get them in. Very uh, good, and we have all the, uh, the information on the performances this weekend at local12.com. Bob, congratulations on your long well, run, and congratulations you. on right. taking over. Thank you. And uh, have a wonderful weekend. Well, thank you and so a happy much, new year. Thanks so much.